This video will look into more detail about the audience section of Google Analytics. This area covers a range of information about who your audience coming to your website is, where they come from, and what they do once they reach your website. The audience section can be found on the left hand side navigation when you log into Google Analytics. And there's a couple of key areas here that we'll look at to give you a really good idea who is exactly visiting your website and make sure that that audience that comes to your website is in coherence with the demographics and the target market that you have for your business. We have areas such as demographics, which will look at, at the actual age range and the gender breakdown of visitors to your website. Now when looking at any of these metrics, we can identify specific information areas that we want to be looking at. By default, we would be looking at the number of visits, for example, number of visits within each age group. We can also break this down to the number, average number of pages per visit per age group to give you a broad range of information about different areas of your website and how people interact with them. In addition to this, we can see information like visitors' interests. All this information is aggregated from Google's search tools and from its information on its website. These interests will give us an idea of if the people visiting our website have similar interests to the industry our business belongs to, or if it is relevant to the, the search terms that they're looking for. An important part of the audience information that we can identify is our location information. And this is identifying exactly what part of the country, or if not the country, the world, your visitors are coming from. Now this can be very important for your business to identify that the market that is visiting your website is in fact within the range of countries that you would serve. If we click on New Zealand specifically, we can see a breakdown of the different cities within the country and how many visitors are coming from all those different areas. We can see on a very micro scale exactly what areas of the country our visitors are coming from and make sure that the majority of those are coming from the region which we primarily serve. Furthermore, we can see specific data about individual cities within the country, such as the number of visits, average times on the visits, and the average number of returning visitors. There are other areas we can look at, such as the technology, which will look into the types of web browsers and operating systems that visitors use when coming to your website. And an important new area with, with the propagation of mobile devices is seeing the breakdown between people using desktop devices versus smartphones and tablets to visit your website. To understand how people interact with your website once they reach the site, we use the graph called the visitor flow. And this is Google Analytics's tool which to demonstrates to you how people behave once they're on your website and what the flow of information is once they get there. We can see within this graph the movement of traffic throughout the website based on the start to the several interactions therefore of visitors coming to your website. What we can do is see from the home page what passage of information visitors are coming to to identify exactly what areas of our website people are most interested on, where we're getting the majority of traffic to, and even where we're losing the majority of our traffic on our website, identified by the drop-off areas. This will help you identify areas for new links or for creating connections to additional web pages so you can encourage visitors to your site to get to those specific pages you may want them to be visiting, such as the contact page or a services page, any particular page you're trying to direct most traffic to. This is a good opportunity for you to see if any changes you make to the site implicate that movement of traffic. You will also be able to identify any areas where you are losing traffic and see if there's any detrimental material on that site or on that particular page that could be resulting in you losing all those visits.